And frankly, I can't see Marta Angelou cutting off her ear. That just no. isn't her. Although she does wear those hats all the time, and it, perhaps that's the reason that she wears them. Perhaps she Maybe. did cut off an ear. But who's going to pull off her hat to check? I mean, I'm not going to. No. I don't know her that well. No, and I don't either. It's great to get together today once again at the marvelous art studio of Marty Angelo, local Albert Lee artist. Thank you for having me today, Mark. And here we are in the area of Albert Lee known as Georgetown out in the southwest corner. Mm -hmm. And I think this is an area that you're very familiar with. Yes, in fact, I am part of the family that owns this property and I manage this property. This is the Earhart family we're talking about. Exactly. And it's called Georgetown because that was my father's name. Yes, and this is also formerly the site of a, of a former factory site here in Albert Lee. Right, the, the uh, Smith Douglas Fertilizer Plant. I think this is really a neat historical artifact. Thank you for saying that. My no, father worked very hard at building did. it. Yes, it's a wonderful business. I'm very impressed with it. Now, you yourself, I want to have uh, know a little bit about you. First of all, Margaret Earhart, but we prefer to call you May. I do like you May. You do like May. Yes. I think then we're going to give you that uh, honor of letting you decide what your name is. Thank it's you. A small thing perhaps, but I think it's worth it. Now, you are yourself, I think, an accomplished artistic person. You are a musician. Yes. And you have performed you yes, have I written have. written music? Yes, I have. And in fact, what is your education? I got a degree in music therapy. That is so good. Was it a Bachelor of Art or a Bachelor of Science? A Bachelor of Science. Known as a BS degree. Exactly! How, That's exactly what it was. How appropriate. And I got it at Slippery Rock University because I thought that would look good on a resume. How is it working for you? Well, now I manage property. Yeah. So... But we're heading in the right direction anyway, aren't yes. we? Yes. Now, today, you and I are here to discuss the art of one of the renowned artists, Marty Angelo. Now, uh, do you know her? I don't think either of us know her very well, do we? Not very well, Marty. no. Does anybody? Exactly. Exactly. She is an enigma. Enigma, yes, yes. I know, that many say that. Mm -hmm. Now, you were, uh, it was your choice to pick a particular picture, or shall I say work of art, produced by Marty Angelo. It is entitled? A Little Night Fishing. A Little Night Fishing, reminiscent of the tune Eine Kleine Nacht Musik, which means? A Little Night Music. We, and we are in the right place. Exactly. Exactly. Let's quickly take a look at the art. All right, what drew you? You, you purposely chose this picture to discuss. Well, I walked around and looked at all of the art that she has on the wall. Yes. And when I look at this one, that moon, that light coming across the waves just pulls me in. It's like offering you a path. Well, now that you say that, yes, I think you're right. Is it sort of like it, are, you're a person, an artistic person, obviously, that you are a, a searcher. You're searching for meaning in life, a path. It's kind of Buddhist or something, I suppose, in this concept. And this offers you the image of a path, and that therefore draws you to it. I like that thought, Mark. I yeah. hadn't thought of that. Yeah. But when you say that, I think about how choppy that water is. It is choppy. And it's not a smooth path, if indeed it is a path. But uh, Is the path of life smooth? Exactly. Exactly. And she's a deep thinker, Marty Angel. She's Angelo. known as a philosopher. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, to me, the dichotomy, if you will, is 
observe the choppiness of the water, and yet off in the left-hand corner, there appears to be the outline of a boat, perhaps a fishing boat. And in that boat are? Fisher people. Fisher people. Are they fishing? We don't know. All we have to go by is the title of Marty Angelo. <clears throat> are they fishing? Are they fishing, yes. Are, are they fishing for fish? Are Water they fishing time. for the path? Something else? Yeah, there you go. And you notice that that boat is all alone in this relatively large body of water. It reminds me of that old prayer, if you will, that went, Oh God, the sea is so large and my boat is so small. It gives you the sense of uh, one place in the grandeur of the universe contrasted with how small we as human beings really are. And yet, I don't, if in fact that was what Marty Angelo was inspired Who knows? by, we don't we because don't. we don't know it. We that really well. don't. No. Um, but but the, all the color in the sky, um, there's, a, for me, as I look at that painting, that does not make me feel alone. I get a sense, again, of the broadness of mm -hmm. light. But that it, it's a, it are warm colors, and I don't feel alone. I feel drawn in in a comforting you feel kind of way. Comforted, caressed, encapsulated. I don't know if I'd go so far as mm. to say that. The image I have of water is there's shallow water, mm -hmm. there's deep water. Mm -hmm. Is this deep water or shallow water? Well, then you go again. Go back to Marty. Is she deep or is she shallow? She is considered by many to be a very uh, astute uh, philosopher. Exactly. Exactly. So. And then what is in the water? Are there monsters in the water? Monsters. Monsters. Or is it, we're talking about the path of life here. Does one run into people or situations that are monstrous, if not monsters? Well, Again, I would not call Marty Angelo a monster. Oh, no. But perhaps she is at least scratching the surface of that possibility that there there are monsters. There are, there are dangers, rocks, shoals, yes, what yes. have you. In life. In life. I, I just want to put a little bit of time into the technical aspects okay. of Marty Angelo's work here. There was a movie called Amadeus, mm -hmm. celebrating the life, a biography, if you will, of Mozart. And how interesting, because we thought of a little night music, which did is he by Mozart. Did he create that? Yes, he did. I think we're on to something here. So continue with your thought then. Well, his nemesis, his mm -hmm. critic. Scarlatti, I think his name was. Scarlatti, how appropriate. Yeah. Said, in answer to a question, what is it that you don't like about Mozart's work. And Scarlatti said, too many notes. Yeah. Too many notes. Yes, too many notes. Do you think maybe there's an excessive number of strokes in the work that Marty Angelo has produced here? Well, it's interesting that you should ask me that question, yeah. Mark, because I was thinking about Van Gogh. All the strokes that I could see on his paintings, yeah, which I think are appropriate. And then I was thinking about Marty Angelo's mm -hmm. painting of Little Night Fishing, not music. Um, but that got I, I'm not sure I would like to touch it to see how much paint is on there and how thick it is because you are a rather tactile, exactly, exactly, exactly. It's hard for me to, unlike Van Gogh, where you can see each stroke hard to discern each stroke on this painting. And frankly, I can't see Marty Angelo cutting off her ears. That just no. isn't her. Although she does wear those hats all the time and it, perhaps that's the reason that she wears them. Perhaps she Maybe. did cut off an ear. But who's gonna pull off her hat to check? I mean, I'm not gonna. No, I don't know her that well. No, and I don't either. Now tell me, uh, is there the, the amount of paint she uses? The number of colors that she uses. Do you think 
that what is going on in her mind do you think it's appropriate or is she on, on the wrong path here? We well, have to be critics here. We can't just praise Marty Angelou, although certainly she deserves the praise. True, true. Yeah. Well, if I were to be honest with you. And we do want you to be honest. It troubles me a bit how vague that fishing boat is. It is very vague. Yes. Why is the boat so small? I kind of alluded to that earlier. Why is it so vague? I don't know, because I, I don't think of Marty Angelo as being vague. I think of her as being very decisive. Well, she's a spiritual person, though, don't you think? She's a person with very, very deep thoughts, a philosopher, as I've said before. But also playful. Playful, sure. So coming back to all the color in there, mm. I guess more than maybe too much color. Should she have more color, do you think? No. No. You, the purple. We talked a little bit about the purple, I believe. It might be too much purple. There is an old saying, I thought, uh, I saw it once, when I'm old, these old ladies say, when I'm old, I shall well wear purple. Have you heard that one? I have. What do you think? Somehow I don't think of Marty Angelo as old. No. So then it doesn't seem, definitely doesn't seem appropriate. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. No. But, again, stepping back and looking, then the painting wouldn't, perhaps wouldn't draw you in because maybe the contrast between the light on the water and the purple behind it, that maybe that's part of what pulls you in. Right. If it was light, lighter back there, I might not feel, you yes. You notice how Marty Angelo creates the, again, the illusion of depth. Mm -hmm. But she's a very deep person. Mm -hmm. And then we have the question, what is beyond? We don't know even how far it goes beyond or how deep the water might be. Right. And that's what captures us, I suppose. It gives us this imagination. Oh, definitely, definitely. definitely. It sets my mind just spinning. Spinning. Yeah, you wonder what next. Mm -hmm. That's what I keep thinking, what next? Yeah. And we haven't even touched on the possibility that it's biblical. No, and I'm glad you brought that up because I cannot help but think of the tale from Exodus of the Israelites crossing through the Red Sea. And of course, who hasn't seen Charlton Heston and the Ten Commandments? And here's this wall of water on both sides. And here in this picture, one could almost imagine that this is a path that the Israelites would have crossed through. Very Again, speaking to the spirituality exactly. of Marty Angelo. Exactly. exactly. I hadn't thought of that, Mark. Most people haven't, but they should. And why do you say that? Because I think it brings out the strength of Marty Angelo and her work. A person who has done a great deal of reading to prepare herself for this career. And we should respect that. Which brings me to my final point. Would you believe it if I told you that this picture that you chose is available for sale? Well, uh, yes, I, I do believe that. This picture is for sale, and it is for sale for the sum of $125, again entitled, A Little Night Fishing. And that $125 does include the frame. And it would help her pay the rent. And since you're her landlord, this is of concern to yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, of course. Well, Meg, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me. Mark. We'll have to do this again sometime. I would love to. All right.